everyone. Here is a quick demo of the Note 4 Qi Wireless Mod in action using three different cases. We're going to confirm that they work. The benefit to using this mod as opposed to buying one of those receivers is that the coil appears to be bigger. It does, in my opinion, charge quicker. And because it is bigger, it's very easy to just lay it down. You don't have to worry about the sweet spot. NFC also works perfectly. Most of these receivers I'm finding that you that you get on Amazon or eBay, while well, some of them do support NFC, the majority of them don't. And for the ones that do support NFC, you still have to position them a little bit weird to get it to work. In the example here, this is supposed to be one of those receivers that does support NFC, but I'm not going to use it. In the end, I'm just going to go with the wireless charging mod that you see here. And basically, the wireless charging mod, for those of you that are not familiar, is you take the Samsung original charging cover, you remove the coil, and then you place that coil on the the stock battery cover that came with your Note 4. There's some modifications that need to be done. They're very slight, though, and you, anyone can really do it. And there's another video here on YouTube on that, so I'm not going to show you how to do the mod. In this case, though, you do see that the coil is on there with the on the OEM cover using some electrical tape. It's pretty straightforward. The benefit to that is that I can remove the cover uh, as I please without um, having to worry about the battery or it being stuck on the battery or aligning the coils again. Basically, just placing it like this, it works. Okay, I'm going to show three different cases. The first case is the uh, UAG case here. And then the next one is the uh, Spigen Tough Armor. And then the last one is a Bare Motion case. So we're going to confirm whether these all work for wireless charging when you're doing the uh, wireless charging mod. Okay, before I show you the phone charging with the stock um, battery, battery cover, sorry. I wanted to show you what it looks like. As you can see, there's a ever so slight bulge on it. Sorry if the focus is off, let me see. Here we go, maybe this will work out. The bulge is ever so slight. And this is the original stock cover. Okay, here we have an Anchor Qi Wireless Pad. And here is the phone just with the stock cover. And immediately you see that it's charging. Let me focus. There we go. This is the first case we're going to be testing with. This is the Urban Armor Gear. And I'll show you the back just to confirm. And we're going to just drop it on there. And let's see if it starts to charge. Sometimes it takes a second. There you go. You can see that it it took. This is the second test. This is the Spigen Tough Armor. You can see there. I'm going to just put it down there like that. Not worry so much about finding a sweet spot or anything. And boom. It's charging. The final test. This is the bare motion case. For this one I had to use a Nokia DT900 because the anchor wasn't making any contact. So, let's see. There it is. And you can see that it's working. Okay, so that concluded the test. Basically, you saw all three cases worked. In the case of the bare motion case, it is a thicker case, as you can see. And in addition to that, it has a back. So that's why it didn't work with the anchor wireless charging pad, but it did work perfect with the Nokia DT900, which in general I find that the Nokia DT900 works with almost everything. That's the one that most people end up using when they want to put the uh, the uh, sorry the pad in their furniture for charging on their, on their nightstand or something like that. Alright, so if you have any questions, just post them below. That's a cat.